15 seconds and counting. Welcome, passengers, to mission 001. Ten. So what are you going to bring? I really debated if I was going to come. I feel silly bringing toiletries. At this point, you can probably guess what decision I, mean, I made. They are essential, sure. But not exciting, not glamorous, just... I don't know. Safe? Necessary? Too late to change my mind. Nine. Nine. You're doing what? I studied therapy for a bit. Kind of blew by Miles Davis. That's my kind of jazz. Just took a few courses and I'm not picky though. read a few books about trauma. I bought a few vinyls. Damn. Eight. Eight. You are out of your mind. What happens Seven. Seven. <laughs> I don't even have anything to play it on. Six. Six. I didn't do it. Aren't you scared? I didn't know why I packed all of this emotional baggage. The devil is truly in the details. Cool mint or spare mint flavored toothpaste forever? You'd think it'd be something I'd leave behind. How much do you really love that deodorant you buy all the time? Enough to wear it forever? But no matter how bad I wanted to, trauma is the reason we're here in the first place. And wherever better or safer is, dealing with trauma is a part of how we get there. Five. In the event of an emergency, please refer to the emergency protocols manual located conveniently under your seat. Whenever I close my eyes... Uh, is it bad that I care what other people think? Whether you, aliens, or whoever is listening thinks I'm an idiot? No matter where I am or what Brave. I'm doing, I can or, hear the music. It's as boring. much a part of me as anything else. Memories. I only brought myself. Is that enough? Four. Four. <laughs> Three. <sighs> What's the choice you make if it's the last one you can fully understand? Because you've actually done it before? Because after that, you're just making it all up? Two. Two. I'm past the point of no return. We all are. Whether we admit it or not, I think we all have a little bit of trauma. You're not sure what a decision means for the rest of your day, <laughs> let alone life. What does jazz do for me? But as we move through it, is this the biggest mistake yet? Toothbrushes or are like hope, a breakthrough? I think. Jazz reminds me that it's okay to feel it all. Most of the time, feel it's something in between, I think. Things can well, feel. 11, What's waiting 10, for me out there? Different. Different. Like, Eight, dental hygiene, seven, hope is six, important. Six, eight, 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 start now. Two, one. Boost your ignition and lift off. Three, two, one. Hi, my name is Mari. And my name is Sean. And welcome to the teach back for the sex, sex and, and you, you never, never had. had. Today's topic is oh my gosh, survival. survival. Okay, one minute. Okay, what did you have to let go of or get rid of to survive? So your existential Marie Kondo moment. Oh my gosh, in order to survive. I um, am still in the process, I feel like, of, of giving up shame, you know? And I feel like it's one of the things you have to throw away. One, because I live a very embarrassing life. And two, <laughs> um, also just like so much I think about finding and discovering yourself, you know? One of the biggest barriers, I think, is shame around being yourself and being authentic. So that's one of the things I had to give up. So my question um, is, let's say you find yourself in a situation where you need to emulate straight culture. What's a thing that you do? I let the timer go. <laughs> Next week's topic is astrology. astrology. I know you've been waiting on it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye.
questions. Uh, okay. Just... Hi, Sean. You didn't get a chance to answer your question, so I don't want you to tell me what the thing you do is. I want you just to do it. I don't know what the... I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like it's scowling on buses, so I can't really demonstrate that <laughs> yeah. without a bus. <laughs> No, that makes sense. That makes sense. Okay. 